Staniland Wake writes in The Origin and Significance of the Great Pyramid that Masudi, who died in 967 AD, professes to relate the Coptic tradition. This tradition says that Surid ben Shaluk, ben Sermuni, ben Termidun, ben Tedresan ben Sal, one of the kings of Egypt before the flood, built the two great pyramids. Despite them being later named after someone called Shed Dad Ben Ad, they were not built by the Adits, who couldn't conquer Egypt due to the Egyptians' powers of enchantment. The reason for building the pyramids was a dream Surid had 300 years before the flood. Masudi describes the guardians assigned by the king to each pyramid. The guardian of the eastern pyramid was an idol of speckled granite, standing upright with a weapon like a spear in his hand. A serpent was wreathed around his head, which would strangle whoever approached by twisting around their neck, then return to its position upon the idol. When everything was finished, he caused the pyramids to be haunted with living spirits and offered up sacrifices to prevent the intrusion of strangers, allowing only those worthy of admission. According to the Coptic account, an inscription in Arabic on the pyramids read, I, Surid the king, have built these pyramids and have finished them in 61 years. Let him who comes after me and imagines himself a king like me attempt to destroy them in 600 years. To destroy is easier than to build. I have clothed them with silk. Let him try to cover them with mats. As noted by Wake, Surid may be the same as Sufis or Cheops. In a papyrus said to have been found in the monastery of Abu Hormes, Surid is said to have been buried in the eastern Great Pyramid, his brother Hawketh in the western, and his nephew Karwars in the smaller pyramid. Surid appears in Manetho's list under the name Soros as the first king of the fourth dynasty. This king's name is also said to have been found in the tombs near Giza and in the quarry marks of the northern pyramid of Abu Ser, thought to be his tomb. <laughs>